Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about compound inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 3n plus 2 is less than a negative 2 plus 7n, or 8n minus 4 is less than or equal to 3n minus 4. Well, my first step here is I'm going to solve both individually. So I'm going to subtract a 7 end of both sides here. And I'm going to uh, subtract a 2 to both sides. So we're going to n to the left, numbers to the right. 3n minus 7 is negative 4n is less than negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. I then need to divide by negative 4 to both sides. And in doing so, negative 4 to both sides, I'm left with n here. And since I divided by a negative over the inequality, okay, a uh, that flips the inequality from a less than to a greater than sign, and negative 4 divided by negative 4 is a positive 1. So now I have n isolated. I'm going to solve this one. So I'm going to subtract a 3n to both sides. I'm going to add a 4 to both sides. Giving me 8n minus 3n is 5n is less than or equal to negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Now I need to divide by 5 to both sides. And divided by 5 to both sides, I'm left with n by itself here is less than or equal to 0 divided by 5 is 0. So now I have n is greater than 1, or n is less than or equal to 0. So now I need to graph that. So let's get my number line right here. Okay, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3 kind of fit in there. Okay, well, since n is greater than 1, it's not equal to 1, just greater than 1, I have an open circle at 1. Then I put my arrow to the right because n is greater than that one. Then the next one here, we said n is less than or equal to 0. Since it could equal 0, I put a closed circle right there at 0. And I put my arrow to the left because n is also less than 0. So now we have our graph here that matches our inequalities, where our graph here uh, matches the inequality of n is greater than 1 or n is less than or equal to 0. So let's recap. We're given 3n plus 2 is less than negative 2 plus 7n or 8n minus 4 is less than or equal to 3n minus 4. Solved each individually. I brought the n's to the left, numbers to the right, giving me negative 4, n is less than negative 4. Then I divide by negative 4 to both sides, and dividing by uh, a negative over the inequality causes the inequality to flip from a less than sign to a greater than sign. So I'm left now with n is greater than 1. On this one here, I brought my n's to the left, my numbers to the right, when I was solving. And I got a 5n minus, or is less than or equal to 0. I then divided by 5 and got n is less than or equal to 0. Both of them were isolated n. Fantastic. But they're separated by an, by an or. But I have to graph each individually. Uh, n is not equal to 1. So I have an open circle there. But I shaded to the right because n is greater than 1. Here n can equal 0. So I have a closed circle there. But n is less than 0. So I put my arrow to the left. So now my graph matches my final answer. Which is n is greater than 1. Or n is less than or equal to 0. 